Right, hello YouTube. The bike is on the road, the trailer is attached. Um, what I'm doing is uh, I'm just going to do a, video, a short video today. Wait, I say short. What I'm doing um, today is I managed to get hold of it, it was my birthday recently, and I got some mirrors. So I'm going to put them on the bike, I'm going to show you how, because on the Yamaha it is slightly different, only slight difference, um, but if you get standard mirrors for let's say other bikes, and you try and fit them on the Yamaha, there is a, a little nugget that you have to buy. But anyway, uh, I do apologise for not getting videos online recently, because either it's rained, like it did not 10 minutes before I tried starting this video, um, or there's been some technical hitches, and I say technical hitches, um, I'm trying to do one of the trailer in action, and unfortunately the camera does not like being fit into the bike, the other cameras I have um, do not like being fit into the bike, so I've got a vibration issue and the videos are just coming up ter ter terribly, terribly rubbish. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to put these on, which uh, I like. I'm thinking that maybe, once I've run with them a while and I've got used to them, I may matte black them, uh, but that's going to be a future thing. But let's get them on. Here we go. On this side, the thread of the mirror actually goes the opposite to what you'd instinctively go with or what you've been taught over the years. Uh, to undo it, you actually go clockwise, and normally you go anti-clockwise and then you can just take the mirror off. There we go, the mirror comes off. I've got a suspicion that this little nug in here, which I'm going to, yeah, as I thought, this little nug in here may be useful. Uh, so um, I'm gonna keep that to one side and keep it safe. But I'll keep the mirrors anyway for MOTs and stuff. But that's the mirror off, it's easy enough. Right, what you do is you get one of these with your kit, or you can buy these separately if you've gone for uh, universal mirrors that don't have a Yamaha fitting. You can actually buy these separately for a couple of quid. But effectively, if you try and tighten up the mirror while that's in place, you will actually undo the bolt on this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fit this to the mirror so there's the mirror, and it just get it to seat. And there we go. A little Allen key. Tighten it up. Just undo that. It goes the opposite way, remember. Tighten that up with the Allen key. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll put that to the top and we'll use that for positioning. So let it seat. There we go. So we're going the opposite direction to our normal. And then what we'll do is we'll put it at the height we want. If you want to put a couple of washers in here, that might actually help. And then we'll test the height. Now what we want is there. Sometimes it's too good, but as you can see, it might be a little bit low. So what I can do is I can I can adjust that by going backwards. There we go, and then just tighten that bolt down into the right position. I think that's going to be all right actually. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So all we do is tighten the bolts up. What we've got is a size 14 spanner and I'm still working on the best positioning. I may go, yeah, may go down and into there and work from there. We then tighten it up. Tighten that up. Of course you've then got to do the bike up and check the positioning. But that, I've tightened that up slightly. All needs cleaning off because I oiled it before I uh, did this. 
I've got a feeling that's actually going to be all right. So what we'll do, we've done a primary fit and then it's just a matter of um, sorting out, tightening up, etc, etc. I'm going to have a look at that. Right, again back to the size 17 spanner. What we'll do is that comes off the normal way as you would normally with any bolt. And that just comes off fairly easily. And there you go. We need the fittings for this and in this side we get two fittings. So hopefully one should fit. How far the bolt goes into, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So I've got the other bolt which goes all the way up. Yep, I'm happy with either of those. Just take that out and fit it to the mirror. and I just screw it in and we've got a little allen key which will do the job there we go tighten that up and here we go I'm happy with that we don't want that coming undone through vibration marry that up and it's just a matter of putting the mirror on which we want it, which I think is going to be there. And then tighten that bolt up with 14mm spanner. That's tight. I'm happy with that now. Right then, they're on, I've tightened them up, and then shortly after I've tightened them up, it rained. <laughs> Typically, um, I can't use the garage at the moment because I've got another project in there that I'm not going to do on YouTube. But uh, effectively, I've tightened them up, <coughs> I've put them in position, and they look alright. I'm okay with them, they're fitted, they do the job. Um, just fine tuning when I'm going along the road, but hey. Um, I might, I, I do have an extra set of larger mirrors, teardrop mirrors, that I may fit to these. I'll show you when I do, if I do that, I'll show you that. Um, it was only the stems on the other teardrop mirrors that were knackered. And so basically I can use the stems on these and fit the bigger mirrors on them that still look in keeping with the bike. So, there we go. All done. Goodbye YouTube.